Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Sefer Chavetz Chaim, and we'll conclude Be'ez Hashem today, Klal Hey, the fifth chapter here. And he writes, V'dad Kashem sha'asel ha'itzi diva al-chaleh, just like you're not allowed to say something negative about another Jew. Kein al-chafotzav asel ha'itzi diva. So too, you're not allowed to say not nice things or negative things about his merchandise, about his, about his business and the like. And this is a quote from Rabbeinu Eliezer, Mimitz Vesef Yireim. And the Sef Yireim learns this out from where? The Maraglim, the spies who came back from Eretz Yisrael. And at first they said over something nice, and then they said Ephes, however, and they spoke very disparagingly about Eretz Yisrael. They spoke Lashon Hara about the land, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's pride and joy. So they were disparaging to some to a property that was a negative thing, and therefore we're not allowed to say ne- n- negative things either. Unfortunately, this is found very often. You have two store owners, and one ends up saying not nice things, derogative comments about the other store's merchandise. The Kolkei Gavna Mivnei Akina, all because he's jealous. Ruvain owns uh, a store that sells clothing, and he speaks badly about Shimon, who owns a store that sp- sells clothing. And he's ah, his clothing it's low quality, it's cheap, it's made in not even China, it's made in Vietnam. Trust me, my stuff is superior quality. You're not allowed to say that. Now you're jealous because maybe he's doing better because he has a business that's also doing well. You can't say something negative because you're going to cause him to lose his business. Vizuhi Lashin Hara Gemara Midaraisa. This is literally Lashin Hara. And a person has to be careful. Now, if somebody asks you for your opinion of what you, which, what you, where you like to go shopping. So if you want to say, I like to go shopping in Ruvain's store, I like the clothing there, without putting down Shimon's clothing in his store, that much you're allowed to do. But to point out the negative of somebody else's merchandise, that you cannot, says the Chavetz Chaim. And finally he writes, Isr Sipa Lashon Hara, the prohibition of saying Lashon Hara, when you're telling over a negative information about another Jew, Afilo Ala Emes, like we said, even if it's true, who Afilo Bihid, that's even if only one person is speaking Lashon Hara, However, the kol she came to sape b'shnayim davar genus al chaver the aser. All the more so if two people are speaking lashon hara together about one person, that's even worse. The avar who yoyse gadol and have sape b'ichidi, it's a much much worse transgression than person who's speaking lashon hara by himself. Why? Ki amino ha'am yoyse because the people that are listening are going to believe even more when two people are saying it. Be levuz beinayim. It will become something degraded in the eyes of the listener. When they hear it coming from two people. Nevertheless, says the, says the Chavetz Chaim, whenever we write about the idea of Lashon Hara, it's referring to every situation, even when there are two people speaking it, unless we explain otherwise. Meaning, Says the Chavetz Chaim, certainly we've been speaking about this whole time when one person is getting up and speaking Lashon Hara about another person. But if two people are standing there and they're shooting the breeze and speaking Lashon Hara to each other and there's other people that are around listening to this Lashon Hara, it makes the words of Lashon Hara that much more believable and more likely that the people that are listening will be macabre, they will accept it, and it will cause them to look negatively and perhaps even do negative things to the person that the Lashon has been spoken about. Therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, it's bad enough if it's one person, it's even worse if it's two people. Okay, that's the end of Klal. Hey, Emir Hashem, we will begin Klal Vav, hopefully Emir Hashem, tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.